Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a balm makeup tutorial, which means black owned makeup businesses makeup tutorial. So we're going to be using a lot of products from brands that are black owned. We have some Juvia's Place, some Color Drain, some Dinesa Myricks, Myricks, Dinesa Myricks, I think I'm saying her name right, um, Beauty Bakery, a ton of other stuff. So yeah, most of the products I'll be using my face are going to be black owned. I was going to do this video for Black History Month, you know, in February, and then life just kind of came and did the most. I got hit a lot in February, so we didn't have time for that, but we are going to be doing the video today, so I'm super excited. It is going to be a voiceover because I just kind of want to get through this makeup tutorial. If I sit here and talk all day, we're going to be sitting here for a very, very long time. So I am going to throw it into voiceover. But so yeah, if you guys want to see me do this makeup tutorial using mostly black owned makeup products, then just keep on watching the video. So we are starting off with eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Beauty Bakery Brow Gel in the shade Dark Brown. I love this stuff. I use this on my brows every single time I do them. I usually do my brows off camera because it takes me like forever. But I love this stuff. It is waterproof. It is locked in and loaded. It's not going anywhere once you apply it. It's the best brow gel that I have ever used in my entire life. And I'm just applying this to my brows, making them look as natural <laughs> as possible. And then I'm going to be using concealer to just carve them out. I feel like you can be as sloppy as you want with brow gel, but as long as you go in and carve them out with concealer, it's like popping. Like, it's amazing. And then I'm also going to be taking the concealer and running this down my lid just to prep for eyeshadows so that our eyeshadows show up pretty nice and pigmented. And then for eyeshadow, we're going to be using the Juvia's Place masquerade palette i love this palette that's why it looks like that because <laughs> it is nice and loved so i'm first going to be taking the shade burkina and i'm going to apply this in my crease and this is basically just going to act as like my transition shade and just the shade that we have before we go in with like the main color of the look and for that we'll be taking the shade zobo if i butcher these names i apologize but i'm pretty sure it's zobo it's like a purpley kind of cranberry color and this is kind of going to be like the star of the show we'll just be applying this in the crease and just blending it out and pretty much just going back and forth between burkina and zobo making sure it is nice and blended Here I'm taking some concealer and just kind of cutting my crease. I'm not doing a super dramatic cut this time because I just want to have a little bit of a base for the eyeshadow to adhere to, nothing too crazy. So for that, I'm going to be taking the shade Dahia. Dahia? Oh my god, I don't know. Um, It's like a gold shade and I'm just applying this on my lid. Very pretty, just very effortless. This look is not that deep. It's just kind of like... You know, not every day really because the purple, but like just kind of like I tried, but I didn't try at the same time, you know. And here I'm just blending it out. And now we're going on to the face. So for foundation, I used, my bad, for primer, I used the Smashbox Primer Oil and the Glow Lock Primer from L'Oreal. And then for foundation, I'm using the Dinesa Myricks Vision Cream Cover Foundation. This thing is heavy duty and full coverage. I'm using the shade W04, which I feel like it matched me pretty well, but keep in mind this foundation is very thick and very pigmented and it's just a lot. So you want to make sure that you get your exact color because if not, girl, it's going to look a mess. So I feel like overall this matched me pretty well, um, but if it didn't, it would look really, really bad in photos and stuff just because it's a very true pigment foundation. And then for concealer, we're going to be using the Beauty Bakery concealers. I love these. I feel like they're very, very unique. They're kind of like a sticky kind of formula. So I definitely recommend applying these 
with a brush like packing it into your skin because if you use a sponge it can kind of like lift your foundation a little bit it's kind of hard to explain but I feel like you want to make sure you're using like some type of tapping motion and a brush with these concealers to have like the best application but I really do like them I'm going to be using the shade um what is this called love your latte for highlight and then to contour I'm using the shade what's frappin which is actually the darkest shade in the collection so I do love these concealers I have a full review kind of going into depth on them I'll link that at the end of this video but I really do like the concealers and then I'm using the real technique sponge you guys know this is my favorite thing ever just to tap everything in and blend it out and then to set all this I'm going to be using the beauty blakery yellow powder I love this stuff oh my god this is like such a good powder like it's amazing um, so I'm just setting my face with the sponge and then with the powder just packing it into my face basically everywhere where I apply concealer and then we'll go in with the fluffy brush and just blend this all over my face I think this is the key to making sure your foundation lasts a very long time is powder girl you want to make sure you're packing this into your face so it lasts for like the rest of our lives <laughs> And then for blush, we're actually going to be using a new product. I've never used this before. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette from Juvia's Place. I'm going to be using those two shades. And girl, that thing was pigmented. Like, I didn't expect all that. I kind of went a little crazy in the beginning. <laughs> but I just blended it out and it blends very well. I love this. I think it's awesome that these are so pigmented because they're going to work on deeper skin tones and look gorgeous. And then for highlighter, we're actually using the In Light Powder from Danessa Myricks. This is in the shade Aurora. And no, I lied. This is in the shade Gotcha Glow. <laughs> Sorry. This is such a good highlighter. It's like lit from within. I love this so much. It's just like beautiful. And this was actually my very first time using it and I'm obsessed. And lastly for lips, we're going to be lining our lips with the NYX Club Hopper Liquid well lip liner and then we're going to be using this lip lacquer from colored rain in the shade single and then just because i'm extra i applied a little gloss on top but that is really it i really hope you guys enjoy and make sure you subscribe on your way out and i will see you guys in my next video bye